So you know what's interesting? I get a lot of people asking me all the time about buying and selling properties when they've got tenants in them already. So I thought I'd break it down a little bit in terms of what should you do if you have a tenant in a property or you're thinking about buying a property with a tenant. So if you're an owner of an investment property and you've got a tenant in there already and you're thinking about selling the property, what we need to do is make sure that the rent that you're getting from the current tenant is actually good market value rent that's gonna be appealing to the potential buyers of the property. We also need to make sure that we present and we package that property up to somebody who's buying it with the tenant so they see the quality of the tenant, they see why they should be buying it and they see the value in the tenant coming with the property so that they don't need to start searching for tenants after that. Now, if you're buying a property and you're looking to buy an investment property and you see something you like that already has a tenant in it, what do you need to do to make sure that you're protecting yourself from inheriting a property with a poor tenant? Well, first of all, ask questions to the current owners about the tenant. Hopefully they're gonna tell you the honest truth. But there's also a couple extra steps. Find out who the tenants are. Do a normal background check on the tenant like you would if you were taking in a new tenant. Make sure that you know who they are, what they're doing for work, where they work, how long they've been working for, how long they've been renting here for, and try to find out as much information as possible as you can to f find out that they are good tenants and that you can qualify to make sure that the investment that you're buying into is actually gonna be a beneficial investment. If you have more questions on that or wondering about buying or selling investment properties, get in touch anytime.